What's up guys, Eric here from Wayscript. So if you've done e-commerce before, you probably heard of the online payment processor, Stripe. So today we're going to talk about how you can easily create an application to automate updating your Google Sheets with new orders and purchases from Stripe with Wayscript. Let's get to it. So for starters, go to wayscript.com, sign into your account and click new script in the top right. You're going to want to name your script. I'll name mine daily updates to Google Sheets from Stripe and click create. And then Wayscript's going to create an empty workflow that will allow us to integrate all the APIs that we want to use. So since I want to do this daily, I'll just use a time trigger. I can set whatever time I want to use this. I'll just say four o'clock every day. And then I'll uh, import the Stripe module because I want to get information from Stripe. So say I want to look at my Stripe charges so I can give some business analyst a better understanding of our sales. So I could say view charges, output our account charges, and then I'd want to use a shop that actually has charges. So um, now I'm going to see that I have many charges at account charges at this data key. So what I want to do is loop over account charges at data. So I can say account charges dot data is a list. And then I want to loop over each account charges data item and I'll put that into my Google Sheets. But because I have like multiple pieces of information at each account charges data item, I want to do a little bit of data processing. So before I do this, I want to process these uh, items with Python. And I can easily do this by just taking this account charges data item and then uh, turning each one into a variable by saying variables at some index equals uh, some part of the account charges data item. And by doing this, I can process this and get clean uh, data from my account charges data item. So quickly, I'm going to write up all the things I want, uh, probably the ID, the customer number, the amount, and then I'll be right back and explain what I did. Cool, so I just finished uh, processing the Stripe data. So one thing that's really great about Wayscript is because you can integrate all these different modules, it they make it really easy to both get information from different sources and then process that information so we can show it to different people in our company and ourselves in the best way possible. So one thing you'll see when looking at the Stripe output data is they put a lot of information that might not make complete sense. So they'll put the amount in cents. So this was only $12.99, but you wouldn't want a business analyst to think it was $1,299. But because we can import the Python module, we can just process this data. And then uh, another example is uh, when looking at the payment link, if we wanted a better understanding about more details from a certain transaction, uh, we'd want to add the beginning of the URL to the payment intent so that someone in our company could just go to the Stripe dashboard at that link and get a better understanding uh, talk to a customer or something like that. And then um, another example is you'll see that they put this created um, in like this large integer value, um, but that's actually the amount of milliseconds since zero time, which is January 1st, 1970 or epoch time. So because we can use the Python module, we can clean that up and put that in an understandable time, uh, which will just be in today's years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So now that I'm done with this, I can just go back to my flow and I can set up my Google Sheets module and then get this running. So I want to write to a file. And then I already said I want to write to this empty Wayscript example file. So I'm going to pick my Wayscript example. And then now I'm going to add all of the variables that I want to uh, write to at each column. So I can have like 100 transactions at this column, 100 transactions at that column. So I'm just going to like simply like press this plus button and then I can add all the variables that I'd like. So I'm going to add all the variables that I want and then I'll be back in a second and show you the result. Cool, so I just added all the information that I want in each column. I'm going to have the created time of the transaction in the first column, the ID, the customer, uh, the object, the amount, and the payment link if anyone wants to see more information. So now that this is all done, I can either turn on this trigger, or if you want to see the output now, I can just press this run button. So now that I press this run button, it's going to go through, it's going to run all this, uh, it's going to run my module. And then once it's run this entire module, it's going to be complete and I can go and check 
and see that all my information is in my WageScript example file. So that's all we got for you today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below or message us on our Discord server. If you're interested in cloning this script, the link will also be down below and it'll also be in the WageScript marketplace. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a good one.